Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action and today I want to give you a bit of an overview of merge statements using T-SQL. Merge statements are really helpful in that they provide a flexible approach to manipulate data in a target table based on a join to a source table and they allow you to do a large number of updates or inserts using a single T-SQL statement. They are also really useful because they allow you to um, manage or create slowly changing dimensions and slowly changing dimensions are a technique which uh, is really fundamental or core to uh, creating and managing data warehouses. They, there are however a couple hooks in, um, in merge statements. Um, there's uh, some ambiguous elements so we'll talk a little bit about that today and how to navigate those issues. Um, and the easiest way to learn about merge statements is really through a practical demonstration. And what I've done is I've provided the code that will allow you to follow along uh, in this tutorial at my website. So my um, website is analyticsinaction.com and if you go to forward slash merge forward slash um, you can pick up the code to follow along in real time. Okay, so once you've got um, SQL Server Management Studio open, um, let's open a query window, paste the code in, should look something like this. So essentially what we'll do is we'll create a couple of tables. So we're going to create a table called Warehouse and a table called Shop. Uh, these are going to be created inside the temp um, database and then we're going to load some data into those uh, tables and we'll use those for the uh, for the demonstration. So let's load that's loaded up the warehouse or created the warehouse uh, table. Now let's do the same thing with the shop table and let's just um, view those two tables. So we're going to select all the values from those two tables, execute that so, so what we have is the warehouse table. This is going to be the source, and then we've got this shop table here, which is going to be the um, the target. Okay, so what we're going to do is essentially compare our values that are in the source table against the target value, and essentially perform three different actions. So when the and we're going to use the product ID here to do that comparison. So when there's a value, the same value is in both tables. So for example, shirts with the product ID one, uh, we're going to add a date for an update time, and we're going to add in a, co uh, a comment uh, here, which is product in stock at warehouse and shop. In the second scenario, when there is when there are records in the source table, but not the target table, so not in the shop, we're going to um, move products from the warehouse to the shop to sell. So we're going to add a comment, we're going to add a date and a comment to the target table, uh, and the comment will be move products from warehouse to shop. So essentially we're just filling, moving inventory there to sell it. So in the um, the third of the three scenarios, when there is only a product in the store, but not in the warehouse, we're going to add in the comment, last unit available in shop. Okay, so let's just make a little bit of space here, and then I'll walk you through what the uh, what's going on in the statement. So the first part of the statement starts with merge, and what we're going to do here is also add in a table alias. So we're calling the shop table the target and we're going to call the warehouse um, table the source so that's the statement here then the next thing we need to do is run the matching logic so it's essentially what are we going to compare from the source to the target so here we're going to compare the product IDs and the first so what we'll do is as I sort of alluded to before we're going to do three levels of matching and so the first thing we're going to do is provide some logic around when the product IDs match. So when the product IDs exist in both the uh, warehouse 
and the uh, and the shop we're going to update the uh, the target table with this comment product in stock at uh, in stock at warehouse and shop and this is um, the second step is where things become a little bit ambiguous uh, so this is this part says when not matched and so the question right um, arises well what do you mean by not match so do you mean that a value a product ID is in the source table but not the target or the target table and not the source so this is where there needs to be a little bit of clarification and the best way to do that is to look at the online documentation so if you highlight merge and then press F1 your browser will then open up it's just opened up on another screen here and you at first um, sort of glance this uh, a lot of this help menu stuff looks quite confusing but it's just a matter of um, becoming uh, comfortable about how to read it so what we're going to look for here is the reference to the matching so this is the matching sorry when the statement when not matched and actually what does that mean so this is it here when not matched and then we've got the brackets around here by target and what that means is when the source does not match the target okay so that has provided some clarity there so let's just move that aside so when the source doesn't match the target ie the records are in the source but not the target table um, we're going to add the comment move products from warehouse to shop and in this situation let's just look to see what product that is so we've got the records are in the source but not the target so we look through here and we see socks are in the source but not the target we're going to add in a date and then add in a comment move product from warehouse to shop in this final step product only in um, so the products only in the store and not the warehouse and the statement we use here is we're not matched by source intuitively you can understand that that is when the target is not matched by source um, so essentially saying what's here but not in the warehouse and that in this situation is going to be a belt so we're going to update the comment there last unit available in the shop so let's run that so just highlight all of that and execute oops so I didn't quite highlight everything I only got half of the um, those negative signs which comment out that line this should be a little bit more successful so we've got five rows affected so let's just look at those values so what we can see is pretty much what we expected to happen so we can see that the shirts ties and jerseys were in stock at the warehouse and the shop the belts were only present in the shop and the socks uh, were only present in the warehouse and then we wanted to add in a tag move to from the warehouse to the shop so that is pretty much our merge statement so what I'll do in the next tutorial is I'll show you a bit more of an applied example uh, in terms of how a merge statement can be used to manage type 1 and type 2 slowly changing dimensions. If you found this um, tutorial useful, um, feel, I'd recommend perhaps coming across to my website. My website is analyticsinaction.com and I've got a whole heap of information um, around you know, learning T-SQL, analytics, predictive modeling, some reporting services stuff there, a little bit on um, visual analytics, um, so tools like uh, Spotfire, I'll probably have a bit of stuff on Tableau coming up. Yeah, so if you um, found this tutorial useful, jump across to, um, to YouTube and um, hit the subscribe button, and that way every time I produce another video you will get updated.